Yo, it's this Jubilee Small Podcast on the road. It's Tuesday, 12th of January, 2016. Oh, oh my God. Shush. Hello, Lauren Clark. Do you know what we didn't do yesterday? What? No mention of undies. Oh, oh. well, uh, you know what hasn't happened, and that since you've mentioned undies, yeah. nobody pulled us up on it either. In oh, time. In time. So this th- the T-shirt stays <laughs> in the pile. <laughs> No, I think someone did, but we but we uh, know that person. We don't have to give them a T-shirt. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, no. Uh, anyway. Look. Isn't, isn't like the people you know, you treat the worst. Oh, definitely. No mm. doubt. It's like they go, oh, huh, do I win that? No, you don't. No, you don't. No. We can speak to you like this because we know you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm. Thankfully that person got in first though because otherwise we would be in trouble. Stuart, how are well, you? Uh, well. Correct. Coming to you live from Mount Tambourine in Queensland. And, and Phillip uh, Island in Victoria. Phillip Island in Victoria. This is the proper, the proper summer series. Now, we got a phone call yesterday, Lauren, from the Australian Podcasting Association. We did. Uh, it, apparently it was a 12 or 13-minute podcast for a summer series is breaking regulation. So it is. Yeah, we well, got to keep it snappy. Well, you got to keep it snappy because uh, we've got holidaying to do. No, well, and we're not away, do I? I don't, I've got <laughs> things to go and look at and take photos of. <laughs> That's true. Have you got, have you been, are there any, you know, prehistoric, um, you know, lizards or cassowaries or anything up where you are? Lauren, you know there are because I sent you a photo of my dog wanting to kill one. But uh, there, there are, ma- uh, if you walk around I Tweed think, Heads, yes. there are, they're like as common as, um, What's a common like you know possums in yeah you see possums around the parks in in Melbourne yes yeah giant prehistoric lizards uh like the the possums of uh, northern New South Wales southern Queensland how terrifying these things they look like they could kill you in an instant but yeah, they, they actually do, just want to pretend they're on a rock and that's it yeah they don't want to, they don't want to know you <laughs> no I was up in northern Queensland uh, once and I stumbled across I was just on a on a walk near where I was staying. And I was in Cape Tribulation, so I was quite, you know, it was in the middle of a I think it's Cape long, Trib. Cape actually. Trib, yeah, Cape Trib. Anyway, and I stumbled across two cassowaries. You know what they are? They're the kind of ugly dandruffy emus with like yes. blue on them and stuff. And But they're kind of spectacular, like really uh, fascinating to look at. And there were two of them in this clearing, in this little clearing, and they both s- clocked me and I clocked them and I stood there and watched them and they just sort of hung around and then they wandered off and off they went. And I thought, wow, what a magical moment. It was amazing and stuff. I went home and, like, l- looked into them. And, in fact, I think I got a nature tour the next day and they were talking about them. Apparently mm. at that time there were only 15 left in the world. <laughs> so I just oh, really? Like a third of the population of them or something. And uh, – <clears throat> excuse my maths. And the uh, other – other thing about them is that they can kill you <laughs> like they are the most horrifyingly dangerous things and I was in the middle of nowhere by myself of course I hadn't done mm. the proper bushwalking thing I think I told someone I was going and I had water but that's about it which isn't that as soon as there's a bushwalking person missing story yeah uh, doesn't every Australian go oh, why wouldn't you tell everybody knows that you like people get so judgy about <laughs> about the the Aussie anyone who particularly if it's a if it's a palm if a British person has gone backpacking and not and gone unprepared, mm. Australians the world over are like, oh, idiot, oh, idiot, kind of thing. Well, because they're so pale, see. <laughs> yeah, but, that's it. <laughs> but you know, Lauren. But anyway, I could have died. Yes. It's the, well, I was going to ask you in relation to your cassowary. Mm. Are they endangered purely because of like? Um, What's Humans. that? Self defence. Like, if it's a te- like, I'd imagine a human can take down a cassowary. And if they're aggressive, does it mean like if you, like you snap their neck in defence? <laughs> is it because of that, or is it because they there's not enough garbage for them to eat? Because aren't they like bottom feeders type of things? I can't remember. I think you know more about the cassowary than I do. But I did I did research it at the time. But this is what happens to me. This is why I can watch watch um you know what's it called uh, the West Wing seventeen times and still be surprised every time. Is I I mm. I can retain information for only a certain amount of time. Um, but it's, uh, I don't know if it's a bottom feeder, but I do know that, um, hang on, let me see. I'm, re- I'm, re- I'm reading on it here. Feed on mainly fruit, right. um, a range of other plant food, blah, blah, blah. But they, uh, um, they do basically what kangaroos do, which is that they run at you. I think they run at you with their, these hefty feet and bowl you over and can do you some serious damage. And then, then gut you sort of thing. Pretty much slice you up and eat you for dinner. 
Well, see, the ones around here, we've got um, bush turkeys, and they're, they're fine because apparently they're very aggressive and very nasty. Yeah. But you can kick them like a football. Oh. So, <laughs> so if a bush turkey comes at you, I think the uh, what you're supposed to do is actually just kick it. Oh, this is a great country, isn't it? Anyway, this is the summer <laughs> series full of uh, holiday tips for uh, all you holiday makers out oh, there. Kick I, a bird day. Here I it is. I had a holiday tip. What was my holiday tip? I was going to tell you. Uh, oh. oh, my God. I think I've completely forgotten it. Uh, no, here it is. Holiday tip. Oh, my God. I've just lost it. This is in my... Great tip. I know. It's a good tip, isn't it? Um, I was, by the way, walking. I, I had to get off Phillip Island the other day mm. and there is a single lane um, the whole way from a certain part of well, – from basically the island to just off the island. It took me an hour and 15 minutes to get to a distance that would usually take about 15, 20 mins. Mm. Um, and I did that and, it, and there's a theory – down here apparently, that um, there have been more people holidaying here because the surf coast was, yeah, basically on fire mm. and so people have been traipsing down here. And so I was did that thing where, which you and I have talked about many times where where, where you get stuck in traffic and um, it becomes a microcosm of society. Yes. And it was completely... It was, it was, there were people being, you know, giant, people in giant four wheel drives running people off the road and. Well, the bigger the car, the bigger the uh, soul. <laughs> Your um, rate of ruining the G rating on this ah. has gone through the roof while we've been on our holiday. You've really loosened up over there, haven't you, buddy? Well, so we speak in Queensland. Is that right? You're a local now. How long does it take you to be able to claim? Because I've been doing a bit of that down here at Phillip mm. Island. Is I've been, I've been going. Oh well, you know, those of us who come here a lot, those of us who basically have lived here for four days. <laughs> so you're claiming local status. I just you you do you do want to, don't you? Don't you think? Don't you think it is a desire once you get to somewhere where you know. There is a division between holidayers and locals. You do want to, as quickly as possible, disassociate from the from the the tourist and and the two rows, the two rows, and make yourself into a pretendy local. Don't you think? Or is that like a gen, is that a really ingenu, ingenuine, disingenuous thing to do? Disingenuous. Well, Lauren, I want you to hold that thought for tomorrow morning's podcast because. I think you've just struck on something yeah. uh, about local places and wanting to be a part of them that we could talk about in a little bit more length. Okay, before because we you... go, I've got a tip. Oh, I found finally. it. Finally. I found it. If you, this is a tip for parents. Sorry. Actually, no, it's not. It's a tip for anyone. If you can find a child, <laughs> it's right. a library tip, Stu. You'll be wrapped, okay? Ah, great. Um, if you go to your local library and you sign a child up for a library card, hmm. uh, then you can borrow books without getting a library fine. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Now, Lozzie, yes. for people that want to get in contact and thank you for such tips, mm. where can they find us? They can find us on Facebook. They can find us on Twitter. They can find us online. We are stupidlybig.com. We're stupidly big on Facebook and stupidly big on Twitter. And uh, it's been excellent hearing from people and uh, also getting a few extra photos of people in T-shirts has been great too. Oh. So keep them coming. Uh, Stuart Farrell. Ozzy. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.